The deer of groves is a very extensive part of combinatorics, as there are plenty of problems of various nature that can be solved by using a simple model. Believe me, a simple model proves to be incredibly useful. And if you walk through combinatorics, you will notice the diversity of the problems, just like in our example. Mr. and Mrs. Reyes invited four couples to their home. Some guests were friends of Mr. Reyes and some others were friends of Mrs. Reyes. When the guests arrived, people who knew each other beforehand shook hands. Those who did not know each other just greeted each other. After all this took place, the observant Mr. Reyes said, How interesting! If you disregard me, there are no two people who shook hands the same number of times. The problem is, how many times did Mrs. Reyes shake hands? You may well think that this question cannot be answered from the given information, any better than say, a question about the age of the second cousin of Mr. Reyes. However, using the pigeonhole principle and a very handy model called a graph, this question can be answered. To start, let us represent each person by a node, and let us write the number of handshakes carried out by each person except Mr. Reyes next to the corresponding vertex. This way, we must write down 9 different non-negative integers. All these integers must be smaller than 9 as nobody shook hands with himself, herself, or his or her spouse. So the numbers we wrote down are between 0 and 8. And since there are 9 of them, we must re have written down each of the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 exactly once. Now, let us join two nodes by a line if the corresponding two people shook each other's hands. Such a diagram is called a graph. The nodes are called the vertices of the graph and the lines are called the edges of the graph. So, our diagram will be a graph with 10 vertices. Mr. Reyes, it is not aside any additional notation. Who can be the spouse of the person with 8 handshakes? We know that he or she did not shake the hand of only one other person, so that person must have been his spouse. On the other hand, eight certainly did not shake the hand of the person with no handshake. Therefore, eight and zero are married, and eight shook everyone's hand except for zero. We represent this by joining his vertex to all vertices other than 0. We also encircle 8 and 0 together to express that they are married. Now, try to find the spouse of the person with 7 handshakes. This person did not shake the hands of two people, one of whom was his or her spouse. Looking at the graph, we can tell who these two people were. One of them had to be zero, as he or she did not shake anyone's hand. And the other one had to be one, as he or she had only one handshake, and that was with eight. As spouses do not shake hands, this implies that the spouse of seven is either zero or one. However, zero is married to eight, so one must be married to seven. By a similar argument that you should be able to complete, 6 and 2 must be married, and also 5 and 3 must be married. That implies that by exclusion, 4 is Mrs. Reyes. Therefore, Mrs. Reyes shook hands 4 times. How did we obtain such a strong result from almost no data? 
the truth is that the data we had that is that all people except mr reyes shook hands a different number of times is quite restrictive indeed an obvious reformulation of that example shows that it is simply impossible to have a party at which no two people shake hands the same number of times as long as no two people shake hands more than once our argument then shows that with that extra level of freedom we can indeed have a party satisfying the new weaker conditions but only in one way that way is described by the graph